Hi everybody, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a blessed day. So this word is a heavy word and it's kind of like I've never delivered a word like this. Um, but I need to and I need to release it today. I was trying to release it earlier um, and I just couldn't get to it. Um, but yeah, this has to come out today. Okay, so this word comes from a dream um, that I had on December 7th, 12-7-23. And in this dream, um, an old friend of mine um, has um, daughters, right? Um, but in the dream, one of them died. Um, there was a there was an accident. Um, the little girl um, choked in her car seat somehow, and. Um, in the dream um i could just see my friend and she had such strength right now i remember looking at her and thinking like wow god like you are with her because i don't know like i'm a mom i don't know like i i don't even want to think about you know losing a child um especially like that oh i know like i don't know and um um, it happened while um, the little girl was in her care. So she was also dealing with the, the guilt, right? And all of that. And so, but she looked really, really strong. Um, but it wasn't until she uh, saw her husband and she broke down. And that was the dream. Okay. And I i was like when i woke up from this i was like lord oh my goodness please like let this not ever happen right to anyone um and i wrote it down and i kind of forgot about it and yesterday a friend texted me and said my friend's little boy just died and i was like no Oh my goodness and um, I asked for her friend's name so I could uh, pray for her right oh my gosh I could feel like oh my I couldn't I couldn't pray like I had to pray in the spirit right I had to pray in tongues because me like I couldn't I it was like overwhelming what I was feeling right and so um the Holy Spirit reminded me of this word through that and I'm like no oh my goodness so um there's a train like passing right now I hear it I don't know if you hear it but I hear it um that's probably confirmation for someone it's like honking right the the train um and so I sat with the Lord on this and the scripture he gave me um he led me to exodus 11 and 12 which is um sorry i'm getting hot um which is the passover right it's the 10th plague and um it's passover and so God is handling enemies, judgment is happening. And um, not to say that what happened in the dream was like deserving like or anything like that. Um, but God always warns before even his children because in Exodus, he gave the instruction for everybody to put um, the blood of the lamb on the doorposts, right? Um, so even the Israelites and the Egyptians who did this, that spirit of death passed over them. So whoever was obedient was safe. Whoever followed instruction was safe. Okay, even if the they were Egyptians and they did this, they were safe. Okay, um, 
and so God is just saying like I feel he's giving this instruction because there's judgment happening just cover yourself in prayer cover your families in prayer especially your little ones um check car seats make sure they're always um uh buckled up and yesterday on the video of um the special deliveries there was a random comment that said wear your seat belts and I took that as confirmation. It looks like a random comment, but I was new. I knew it was God like confirming this word, like you need to release it, okay? So be very careful uh, right now. Um, cover yourselves, anoint your homes, your cars, um, your traveling. I am gonna pray for you guys um, a, a couple verses over you guys uh for protection um but yeah god had said he was going to do this right um but those of you who are with god and who are following him you are safe your families are safe um but still like cover your families in prayer anoint them anoint your homes uh cover everything with the blood of of jesus um just just do it okay you it, it doesn't hurt okay but just do it just obey um and so i want to pray um deuteronomy 28 6 over you guys and also psalm 121 7 and 8 okay um a blessing on you when you go out and a blessing on you when you come in Adonai will guard you against all harm. He will guard your life. Adonai will guard your coming and your going from now on and forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we come to you. Um, our, our refuge, our, our safe place, Lord. We ask that you cover us. We ask that you protect um, our homes, our vehicles, um, um, our families, um, everything, Lord, we, we surrender it at your feet and we give it to you. And we just ask, Lord, that you uh, protect us and um, our coming and our going wherever we go, that there's a hedge of protection, Lord, um, by the blood of Jesus. Cover us all with the blood of Jesus, Lord. It is impenetrable, Lord. Any, um, any last efforts of uh, the enemy, Lord, any fiery darts, Lord, we cancel them now in the name of Jesus. We declare them null and void and without effect. Okay, your word over your children prevails. It is the highest authority. Um, and so we, we thank you, Lord, for your protection. We thank you for your covering and we just exalt your holy name. You alone are God. You alone are Lord. You alone are, are Lord. You are King of Kings and we praise you and exalt you. Um, we thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We ask, Lord, that you give us hearts, Lord, uh, to submit, hearts to obey, heart, hearts to heed your instruction. We, we trust you, Lord, that what you say and what you do, Lord, is for our good. Um, okay, Jeremiah 29, 11. Um, because we trust that you know the plans that you have for us, Lord, plans that are good, plans to... Uh, prosper us plans to give us a hope and a future lord and so we just thank you for your goodness we thank you for your goodness lord any um traveling plans lord we ask that you cover them for your children by the blood of the lamb lord you protect them air land and sea air land and sea lord your children are covered wherever they go i call forth angels lord um uh, and assign them, Lord, to their homes, to their vehicles, everywhere they go, Lord. Um, they are walking on holy ground. And we just thank you, Lord. We just thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for taking care of us. We thank you for the blood of Jesus, Lord. We just thank you and we glorify you now in Jesus' name. Amen.
men amen so there's a lot going on right now and to those of uh, you who have come up against the children of god a child of god this is your last warning god is saying let my people go it's the last time he's gonna say it and um yeah if you're his child you are covered um just take those extra measures and and cover yourselves your homes um anoint them plead the blood um and all that this isn't to bring on fear we are safe okay we are safe um and we cancel any last efforts of the enemy that's done it that it's it's over um yeah so um that's it for this one okay guys so um i'll have this scripture in the description box and if you're led to sew into this um you may do so the details will be there too god bless you bye